The senior women's national basketball team, the Tigers, will open their 2020 FIBA Olympic qualifying tournament, uh, talking about the camp on the 1st of February in Belgrade. The team under the tutelage of Otis Hugley will camp for five days before they start their campaign against host Serbia world champions USA and, of course, Mozambique with two Olympic tickets on offer. The last time they played in the Olympics was in Greece, 2004. Mm -hmm. And um, it's uh, definitely they are uh, the African champions, and uh, the other African countries are also looking up to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. But now Mozambique is also in the same um, in the same group as Nigeria. Nigeria. They, have, they have USA, they have Serbia. We know that USA they are this they are fighters and they have phenomenal players in their mm -hmm. squad. Now let's not say because we have uh, we are African champions, we've won um, uh, your four gold medals uh, uh, in Africa. Then we now say okay, we can also go to go to the Olympics qualify. Let's not forget that Mozambique in this same group, twice they've beaten us in the All African Games and in the African Games too. I, I've, I've seen the girls play and uh, during the qualifiers, I saw how they played and I felt like there was something they had to offer. And looking at the coaching crew as well and what the MBBF is doing for the girls, it might not be so much, but there's been so much support for the Tigers and mm -hmm. the Tigers. So this time around, I feel like we can grab these Olympic tickets. So I'll have to disagree with Destiny. Destiny. <laughs> of course, you have to disagree. <laughs> um, I've been watching the Tigers, and yeah. uh, they have a lot of great additions. Mm -hmm. You know, they have their captain Adora, who played in the NBA, WNBA. WNBA. Sorry, um, Evelyn, who has also played in WNBA now in Europe. So they have a lot of additions. Um, Ezine, who was MVP for um, Afro Basket, they're gonna be fine. Mm -hmm. um, they didn't just win that just by fluke. They put in the hard work. Yeah. They, they're building that synergy. They're working hard together. They have a great coach. And I think they have a great chance at qualifying. Unfortunately, the U.S. is in their bracket, but they met the U.S. in the World Cup, and they didn't win, but you can see that they were hungry, they were ready to mm -hmm. fight, and they did put up a good battle. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, how they match up this time around with the U.S. Um, Serbia is also a great team, and so is Mozambique, but I believe the girls have what it takes. I just hope that they can get to camp and all the noise, you know, per DMs and, you know, NBF taking care of them, those things won't get in the way mm -hmm. and distract them for what they, for, from what they need to do on the court. Yeah. But I believe they do have the pieces and what it takes to qualify for this Olympics. Definitely. All right, uh, looking forward to that one. And, of course, wishing the girls well.